Good morning, Spark friends. I hope y'all are having a good Wednesday, and I hope you're ready for another super fun Spark story because I found one for us at the Rust County Library yesterday. Okay, we are continuing our journey around the world without even leaving Miss Debbie's office, and today we're not even leaving the United States. How are we going to do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. We are going to read about an immigrant family who came here to the United States from Russia, and they are about to celebrate their very first Thanksgiving Day. Now, what is an immigrant? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's a big old long word, and you may have seen this in some of your reading at school. An immigrant is somebody who moves from one country to another country to make their permanent home in the new country. So it's not like a vacation um, to another country, but they're making their home, uh, permanent home in the new country. So that's the difference. They're moving everything. And in this case, a whole family moved from Russia to the United States. It's Thanksgiving, and this is their very first Thanksgiving to celebrate. So let's see how they do it. Okay, this book is written by a lady by the name of Debbie Atwell. And the illustrations are really super cool, so I hope you enjoy them. The Thanksgiving Door. Thanksgiving Day, Ed and Ann were home alone. And then, oh no, Ann burned the dinner. Yikes, that is not good because Thanksgiving's all about the food, right? Uh-oh. Ann felt plain awful because she had ruined Thanksgiving. She decided that she had to iron some clothes, but Ed was hungry, and I don't blame him. Let's go see if that new restaurant down the street is open, Ed said. Oh, all right, said Ann, but it won't be the same. And you know what? She's right. It won't be the same. The door to the New World Cafe was open. Hooray, said Ed. He quickly hung up his coat and said, Is this a Thanksgiving table decoration? It looks like a pilgrim and an Indian, but who is the dancing man with the beard? I'm not sure that we should be here, Ed. Nonsense, replied Ed. The door was open. Many unhappy eyes peered through the kitchen door. This is horrible, Leon whispered. Who left the front door open? We can't have customers here today. Our party will be ruined. He is not happy. Let's get rid of them, said Tatiana. I'll bang these pots together. The noise will scare them away. Look at that. She's dancing with these pots and she's clinging them together. And look at that other guy. He's got a pot on his head. wonder what he's going to do with that. <laughs> Grandmother had heard all that she could bear. She dropped her peeled potato into the pot and said, Enough! In old country, we bang pots at wolves, not hungry people. Today is Thanksgiving Day. Family cooks turkey big as a doghouse. But we don't share? Bah! She shook her head. Mm. Grandmother is right, said Olga. Go get some chairs. Olga showed Anne and Ed to the best seats at the table. Aunt Sophia brought two more table settings. Grandmother said, Happy Thanksgiving! Welcome, welcome. We are glad you're here. I think I like Grandma. And that's how Anne and Ed found themselves guests of honor as this family celebrated their very first Thanksgiving in the New World Cafe. That's a big group of people, isn't it? Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 26, oh, 27. That's a lot of people. <laughs> I've never cooked for 27 people before. After dinner, Ed asked for the check, but everyone pretended not to understand. No, 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 we dance now. Please stay. Anne and Ed had never heard of a family dancing on Thanksgiving, but they were having such a good time, they just said yes. Ed followed the men upstairs and helped move tables out of the way. Anne stayed with the women and got to hold the new baby, Sonia. And look at her way over here. She's so cute. Uncle Clark struck up the band and the young dancers got things started. 
Soon, everyone joined in. Even Ed, who had never danced a lick in his life, kicked up his heels. He does look like he's having fun. And y'all, I happen to know, just because from reading some other stories, that this is the, the dance that these men are doing is a traditional um, dance of Russia. And they, they kind of go down like this and kick up their legs and they're down on their knees. I don't think I could do that. But they seem to be having fun. Anne loved to dance. She knew all the steps. She taught everyone the conga. In no time at all, they were dancing in one huge conga line. What a hit. Now that is a fun dance. I've done that before. It was really late when Anne and Ed said their goodbyes. Grandmother gave Anne a table decoration. Papa and Ed traded hats. Anne gave her telephone number to Sonia's mother in case she ever needed a babysitter. That was nice. They all said, thank you for making such a very special Thanksgiving. When it was time to lock up the cafe, Papa could not get the front door closed. Hmm. When he looked down, he found a raw potato jammed under the door. Hmm. I bet grandmother did that. How did this stupid thing get there, he asked. In old country, Thanksgiving door is like happy heart. Opened up big and wide. Potato is good for that, grandmother said. You're right, was all Papa could say. That's kind of funny. When they got home, Anne lit the candle from the cafe and made tea. What are you most thankful for on this wonderful Thanksgiving, she asked. Ed thought, hmm, many things crossed his mind, but what was, his, what was he most thankful for? Well, he said, I guess I have to say, my dear, that I am most thankful that you burned our dinner. Oh, Ed, she said, me too. <laughs> What a great story. You know, that's a lesson, friends. Sometimes when things don't go exactly like we've planned, maybe God has another plan for us. It's even better than what we plan for ourselves. And that is certainly the case today in this book, The Thanksgiving Door. Now we know why it's called The Thanksgiving Door, because Grandma propped it open on Thanksgiving to welcome anybody who wanted to come in. So, all right, let's just do a little review here. Um, immigrants are people who come from one country to make their home in another. And here's the really super cool thing about immigrants that we learned from our story today is that when they come to the new country, they bring with them the customs from their old country. And then they learn new customs because they don't celebrate uh, Thanksgiving in Russia. Um, and so I thought it was so cool in this story how the, the Russian immigrants taught um, the American citizens their dance, but then also um, Anne taught them one of our dances, the conga line, which I think probably came from Mexico. Hmm. Anyway, did y'all know that they call the United States the melting pot? And they do because people from all over these countries and all around the world, places we haven't even read about yet, come to the United States to make their home here. And we welcome them, um, and we learn from them, and they learn from us. I learned recently that most of my family comes from Scotland. Y'all remember Scotland? We read about that. Scotland and England over here, and I even have some relatives from way down here in Italy. So, I'm I'm an, my family's an immigrant family, too. Isn't that cool? I just love learning about our world, and I hope you do, too, friends. All right, next week, I'm going to head to the Russ County Library and see if I can find another super cool spark story to share with you. Until then, friends, keep reading and remember how much I love you. Bye.